Hello and welcome back to All Indie. Today we are playing Tiny Bookshop. Uh, and honestly, I, th I think I found this game on TikTok. I think. I think. I'm pretty sure I've seen this, uh, this game on TikTok. But it is, I mean, Tiny Bookshop is a very accurate uh, name. Because I, you're looking at the bookshop, right? Here's the bookshop. Here is you in the car. You travel around buying books, uh, setting prices, organizing your bookshop, opening it up, and selling books. And it's kind of just a easy, cozy game. So uh, I thought we would just give it a shot. Why not? Today's the day. I've packed up my things. Leaving everything else behind. For a quiet life by the sea. Wow. Tuppence demo 1.22. Tiny bookshop. We love ourselves a tiny bookshop. Waterfront square. By the way, I this is like my wife's dream, by the way, is just to like sell everything live in a tiny home, and buy, sell books. In the shop. Oh, wait. In shop. Uh, oh, cool. Okay. So we have three... I'm assuming that's three crime. 29% chance. Scales with number of stocked books. Drama. 29%. 55% fact. 4%... Oh, 35% chance. My, my. What a sight. You must be a new bookseller. I've heard so much about you. Who are you? What? How? Like what? Like what? Oh, I know you're planning to sell used books for a good price and that you're not from the area. All right. I certainly think that you could use someone to show you the ropes around here. Sure. Welcome to our quaint little town. I'm Tilda. I'm Tildy? Tilde? Tilda? I'm going to say Tilda. Lovely to meet you. I used to run the local bookstore here before my retirement, so you can trust my advice. Or are you trying to run me out of business, Tildy, so that you can reopen your bookstore? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> what do you think, Tilda? Huh? Is that what you're trying to do? Trying to ruin mine? So that you can just reap the benefits? You have a monopoly on bookstores in this town? Got my eye on you. Let's see, you should know that us Bookstonians have very particular taste in books. Sure, I, for example, prefer to read classic and crime novels and not much else. Okay, so why don't I have a look at your selection and see if I can find something worthwhile. Well, we got three crime and three classic for kids travel. So we got a couple that have like a like fact and travel have a pretty high chance of selling. Bravo, you had the right book on hand. Uh, cool. And I made three monies. <laughs> when a customer finds a book, they will uh, they will keep looking for more. Okay. Another James Dashner for the shelf. Doop, doop, doop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Sadly, you didn't have the right book on offer. Okay. Even though you may have books of the right genre whether people actually take one home depends on your sale chance we have a 32 percent chance we had a one in three shot anyway you can check your sale chance at any time hovering over the genres sales chance shows the uh odds that someone might find a book they like because the chance is based on how many books you have in your shop oh it will decrease as you run out of books throughout the day oh i see so i need to be stocked managing to sell that last book of a genre is the mark of a great bookseller i see so this is now scales with number three percent for tilda so 26 percent chance i think we had a 29 29 bye tilda don't go sabotage and don't knife my tires i'm looking for you Okay, go on, get. Get out of here, lady. Hey, oh. My gosh. Oh, but I think we can go... Can we go in the shop? I think we can go in the shop and actually, like, organize the shelves ourselves. Hey, Fern. Um, hi there. You're the bookseller, right? Yep, I see you already talked to Tilda. 
Did she know everything about you already? No, but she's on the watch list. Ha, huh. yeah, she does that. Told me all about the review before I had even started my job here. My job there, okay. Oh, I'm talking about the Bookstonebury Review. It's the local paper. Yeah, I sort of write for them, okay. My name's Fern Estrada, glad to meet you. Nice, your arrival is kind of the only interesting thing that's happened here in a while. Oh, so you'll have to excuse my nosiness, but it's sort of my job to write about you now. That's fine. Um, How about you help me out by answering a few of my questions? I'll give you a free subscription in return. That works. I'm always a sucker for a good deal, Fern. You might appreciate the events calendar and people often sell used books in the classifieds. Ooh, right. So, um, for the record, what made you come to Bookstonbury? Needed an escape, searching for where I belong, wanted an adventure. Um, I wanted an adventure. Oh, wow. I kind of feel the same way. I hope it works out for you. Thank you. Okay. And what's your first impression of the town so far? Very, uh, windy. <laughs> Bit intimidating. <laughs> Friendly, I think. I th yeah, I think. Again, not too sure about Dildum. Don't worry, it really is. People might be a bit meddlesome, but the they only have the best intentions. Thanks so much for the little interview. I really appreciate it. And I promise you'll have your first copy of the review by tomorrow morning. I'll have a look at your selection now, if you don't mind. Um, See you around. Fern, are you crushing on me? Oh, we are killing it. We are killing it. What up, Fern? Wall and shot plus five to fax sale chance. Oh, cool. So characters offer bonuses. Yeah, are you crushing on me, Fern? Huh? Oh, you're gonna go talk to Tilda now. She went the same way. I think you and her are in cahoots. By train through, oh. I love the music. I'll have to turn it up if, um, you know, for the video, because it's very, like, very chill. Bye, sir. Have a good evening. And now we close up. And we take a move on. Boom. Buxtonbury Review. See, and I think there's different places you can set up shop. Okay. Reports on the going-ons in the town. Ooh. The bookshop rolls into Buxton. Tiny bookshop rolls into Buxtonbury. Buxtonbury newcomer returns new pages. New page presses local and mobile bookshop. Uh, locals with mobile bookshop. Wow! Okay. Have you ever dreamt of going on an adventure and starting a humble business abroad? That's precisely what this tiny bookshop operator has done. Choosing our very own books in Beria as their latest destination. When asked about their first impression, th the fresh-faced bookseller finds books in Beria to be very friendly. Wow. In quotes? That can be taken a couple ways, my guy. Fern. Find out more about this new and exciting shop by visiting the waterfront tomorrow. Cool. Sunny. Looks a very review reports on going around around town. You can check. Them. Cool. Keep an eye out on the upcoming events. Oh, the flea market. Here you can see the money in my pocket. 85 monies. 85 gold monies. And all the books you own, both in your shop and in storage, looks like they're running a little low. Yeah, I got cleaned out today. In the classified section, you can acquire used books to replenish your stocks. So let's give it a try. Click on the buy. Done. I'll take some free books. Those should come in handy. Maintaining a good stock of books. Did I get... I got five crime? Holy. Maintaining a good stock of books is an important part of any book selling adventure. Pow, pow, pow. Oh, okay. Classified section will sometimes have other bits and bobs. Let's pick up this lonely cactus. All right. It is free. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard, cactus. Me and you. Bit prickly, but has a heart of gold. Of course he does. He's a cactus. Look at him. Adorable. While equipped, plus 2% to travel sales chance. Do we even have travel? We do. Okay. Plant, standing, small. Excellent. Um, Close the newspaper by toggling it off of the menu bar. Okay, but I wanted to buy more stuff. Fine. Let's give this lonely cactus a new home. This is your item bar from here. You can open the newspaper and customize your bookshop, amongst other things. Ugh. Oh, yes. This is part of the appeal here. This is your inventory. Click and drag an item. Uh, uh, click and drag an item to place it in your bookshop. Yes. Got a boost. Yes. 
Some items can increase your sale chance of certain genres or change the effectiveness of other items. Watch out though, sometimes this comes at the expense of another genre. Flipping some items will also increase your daily expenses, so keep that in mind. Okay, cool. Yeah, but the cactus, I mean, come on, he's staying for free. Hover over an item and check out what it does. Oop. Yeah, to remove it, simply. Oop. You can decorate inside, outside your shop. Just click here. Goo Lagoon. Put that right next to the bookcase. Click here to start painting. Yes. Chestnut. What are we thinking? Mint? I don't know how I feel about that. That does kind of look like seafloor. Eh, whatever. Once satisfied, your inner decorations are saved and return. Okay, hang on. Eh, it's book sign. She's well equipped. Oh! Plus 50% to hanging effects. Oh, cool. And I got a folding table. And I got a guest book. Okay. Hang on. Uh, books. Uh. Stuff. Guest book. Inside. Can we put the tape? Can we put the cactus outside? Let's put the cactus outside. Uh, I got nothing else. I don't know how I feel about the paint. What is going on here? Um, Booker's Gray. No, no, no. Neptune. Oh, SpongeBob. Why can't I just wait a minute? Hang on. I want to paint. I want to paint the outside. Ooh, that looks pretty dope. Yes. I don't know about that. Gray roof? My god, I'm a... Look at it. It's adorable. Reminds me of the seaside. Dunskis. Welcome to Bookstonbury. Each day you can pick a location to visit on the map. Go to the location. Has a travel cost, which based on daily expenses as well as parking fees for the location. Alright. You'll unlock more locations as you go. For now, let's pick... Waterfront Square again. Bam! Okay, these are the books in your storage selection genre. Clicking on it, stock my shelves. Okay. Cool. Uh, I only got two here. Cool. Uh, stocking more books of a genre increases the odds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, okay, all right. Yeah, clearing the shelves. It's full of shelves, no need for empty spaces. Okay, crime. Uh, let's see, we're gonna do crime, drama. Uh, let's see, fact, fantasy. I'm just going, I'm making it up. Let's see, classics. Kids, travel, and actually we should do less here. Boom, wait, boom. Because we've got 2% from the cactus, 29% is fine. 29% is our lowest, 52%, 46%. Okay, so I need another bookshelf is what you're saying. God, this is chaos. This drives my OCD up the wall. Okay, anyway, fine. <laughs> I want all the colors on the same, on the same shelf. Look at me. Oh, look. See, it kind of goes along with the sea. Did you notice you can look around a location? Click and drag them. Eh. Uh, you can find interesting things. Oh, I got a buoy. Another 2% of travel. I need to equip that immediately. <gasps> Wait. Let me pet you. Oh, you reacted. <gasps> yes. Oh, that works. That works just as much. Pow, pow. Excellent. I'm open for business, baby. Look how adorable and cute it is. Uh. Ah. Life. Life next to the lighthouse. Ah, goo lagoon. Uh, and honestly, I think I'm going to call it here. Because this is, this is, I think this is a good chunk of the game. I don't think this is all of the game, I, but this is a good chunk of the game. It is a very much a cozy, simple, run your bookstore, make relationships kind of game. So 
while these people are shopping. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, link in the description below. Support your indie devs. Mm -hmm. And uh, until next time. Or unless Tilda decides to put me out of business. Take care. Is that what you're trying to do? Trying to ruin mine? So that you can just reap the benefits? You have a monopoly on bookstores in this town?